Good evening. Thanks for joining us up first tonight. Breaking news in the search for two missing kids with ties to the valley. At this hour, their mother is behind bars in Hawaii. Cops arresting Lori Vallow for refusing to turn over her children who have been missing for months or even tell investigators where they are. Team Trials Erica Stapleton is live from the Alert Center and has the latest twists and turns in this captivating case. Erica. Guys, no one has seen J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan, Lori Vallow's kids, since September. And those close to the case are hoping Vallow's arrest will add some pressure for her to tell investigators what she might know. Did you do something to your children? After weeks of dodging questions, Lori Vallow finally facing accountability. Authorities arresting her in Hawaii on several charges, including two felony counts of deserting her children, J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan. Being in custody, I suspect, will, will put some kind of pressure on, on her to uh, come up with some kind of an explanation. And there's a lot to explain. Court documents say Lori Vallow used to live with her kids and husband Charles in Arizona. But in July 2019, after the couple divorced, police say Lori's brother killed Charles in Chandler. After that, Lori remarried Chad Daybell, whose wife Tammy also died under suspicious circumstances. Lori and Chad went to eastern Idaho, which is where Lori's children, JJ and Tylee, were last seen. Idaho investigators ordered Lori and Chad to bring the kids to them by the end of January, which they didn't do. The couple has been in Hawaii, seemingly showing no sign of concern. Tell people what's happening. There's people around the country praying for your children. Like JJ's grandmother, Kay Woodcock. It's just anticipation and, and, and fear. After the arrest, Kay telling us, quote, the family is elated and couldn't be happier. It's a step forward down a dark and scary path. They're still worried about the kids and there's no new information about where the kids are. From here, Vala will be extradited from Hawaii to Idaho. Each charge of deserting a child comes with a maximum of 14 years in prison. As for Chad Daybell, he's not facing any charges at this point, but is still considered a person of interest in this case. We're live in the Alert Center. Erica Stapleton, 12 News at 10. Erica, thanks.